Hey guys, it's Cena, and I just returned back from the American Girl Place Vancouver and I checked out the new releases. If you watched that video of me touring around the store and showing you the new items, you will know that I got a new doll and some other goodies. So let's get opening. I have Ollie here and she's super excited to meet her new sister. So let's start with my favorite outfit from this new release. It is Kit's gardening outfit and in Canada it costs $45. I am just in love with everything this set has to offer and I can't wait to open it and share it with all of you guys. Oh my goodness, you guys, where do I even begin with this outfit? Let's start off with this shirt here. As you can see, it is a buttoned up collar shirt and it has real working buttons, which I do like. And it has this gorgeous floral print design on it that is really iconic for Kit's era. We see a lot of floral prints for her. And I really love how it has this matching headpiece here that can be used as a wrap or a headband, even a belt. So I love how this can be mixed and matched. Of course, the knockout piece definitely has to be overalls. These are Kit's overalls. They are kind of this pinstripe material, or not material, rather pinstripe look. They have this little pocket here that opens and they have real working clasps here with a kind of a metal um, button for you to attach the overalls to. They're really nice, you guys, super thick, and I love how they are cuffed. Oh my goodness, I love these, even on my boy dolls. This is going to be so cute. And another piece that I absolutely adore are the boots. I'm a huge fan of combat boots, so I will be using these as combat boots for my dolls, and they have this nice yellow trim around it with some shoelaces that are like a rope-like material. So the second outfit I got, and I did try and be good for this release because I am going to the benefit sale in exactly a month, so that's why I didn't get as much, but I can always go back. I was so excited to see in this release some new PJs for boys. These are the Building Dream PJs. I had to snatch them up for my four boy dolls, and these were $32 Canadian. So here's a look at the PJs. Let's start with the top. I love how it is kind of this baseball tee look with the orange sleeves and the orange um, American Girl logo. It has this skyline here correct me if I'm wrong this looks like New York but then a part of me thinks it might be Chicago because Chicago is where American Girl was founded and originated I am Canadian so don't mind my horrible geography and here we have these pants or pajama bottoms they look kind of like geometric but really artsy and Van Gogh like and they kind of look like buildings so I really love that attention to detail and how it pairs well with the top and then to pair it off, you get some orange slippers. Um, the bottom base is kind of very thin, and I do wish it kind of had a logo here, or a little um, design. That would be a cute touch, but overall, I'm really impressed, and now my dolls are excited to have some new PJs. Now, on to my doll. So as you probably know, American Girl came out with three new Truly Me dolls this release and I fell in love with one, so be sure to comment down below which one you think it is, unless of course you watched my previous video and you saw a hint. I picked up the gorgeous Truly Me number 79. I recently sold a doll and some goodies, so I said, you know what, I want to get a new doll before the benefit sale because I know this beauty will not be here. So let's open her up. She is the Jess Mold with medium skin and hazel eyes as well as, um, brown hair. She's so cute and like I said, I'm really looking forward to having her in my collection and I just fell in love with her. Some people say she looks like Kanani, some people say she doesn't and boy have they packaged these dolls well these days. So let's get her out and stand her up and show her to all of you. So here's a look at her. It's very hard to see her eye color, but they are hazel since I'm filming this at 9.30 at night. As I said, I'm super excited to finally have seen the new items. Um, these dolls here, their eyes, it was so hard to pick because her eyes were kind of looking different directions, but I tried my best to pick a good one and I think I did awesome. So let's turn her around and take a peek at her gorgeous locks. Half off, half on, here we go. Wow, look at this hair. It's like this gorgeous caramel brown color. I really love it, it's super soft, so let me just brush it out before I turn her around and give you the big reveal and tell you what her name is. Ta-da! Oh, she is precious. I love straight hair dolls especially. Um, they're super easy to style and manage and care for. So here's a look at her. Isn't she darling? I just love her sweet little face and just she has so much character and personality already. 
So please give her a warm welcome. Her name is going to be going along with a boy trend name, but this could definitely be for a girl name. I see it actually more for girls now. Please welcome Avery into my doll collection. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my video on the new releases and go shop and enjoy some of the new items American Girl came out with. They did awesome on this summer release. Bye. Hashtag dolly wipeout fail.